Okie dokie. First of all, let me go ahead and say uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Hopefully you all are drinking responsibly and uh, enjoying what is Irish Appreciation Day. Or, you know, if, if you want to get technical about it, the, the day where St. Patrick himself literally took snakes into the ocean. Uh, anyway, I decided today, uh, instead of Persona 5, because I literally streamed it uh, Saturday instead of Apollo Justice, we're going to do some Genshin. Because there are some new things to it. I did acquire some new stuff to do. And, as promised, I'm going to let you guys know uh, the ending to, uh, to Chapter 2. You basically find out that the... Uh, the Leo Witch he sing uh, decided that they were going to lie to their people <laughs> about what happened to Rex Lapis. Which, uh, which in turn, um, Zhang Li tells you, like, oh yeah, no, they told them all that lie, all those lies, because, like, I told, I had, like, secretly let them know, like, yeah, I'm not. Anonymously, I let them know that. Uh, anyhow, today we're gonna do some uh, some some new things on Genshin called hangouts, which I guess you hang out with the character of your choosing. I decided to test it out with Barbara because I you can pick multiple people, but I I decided to go with Barbara for now. Let me switch over to the action. Let me turn this on. Also, today is uh, vent. Also, for now until I don't know what time. What day? I don't know what day. Maybe the twenty sixth. Sometime this. Sometime towards the end of this month, they're going to be releasing Sister Rosaria, who I'm very excited for. I can't get Venti, but I'm sure as hell going to try and get Rosaria. Anyhow, um, with that being said, I've got my wireless controller in hand. Hopefully it works for the majority of this stream, which will be two hours. I will say, it was a tie between doing this and Final Fantasy XIV, because I've been playing the hell out of fighting Final Fantasy XIV for, quite, for some time now, and it's not letting me connect the controller. Great. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Controller. Because I can't uh, play with keyboard and mouse. Lest I want my mouse clicker to be disintegrated like my last one. Yeah, that's a, thi that's a thing that I didn't realize until later on in life. Um, if you click the mouse button way too many times, uh, the... I don't know what it is, but something inside of it just to, like erodes little by little until eventually like the mouse will think you're clicking twice that's what i realized also uh, i got hu tao I'm very excited about that i got to learn why people hate her which is not a good reason <laughs> literally there's no reason to hate her as far as i know of course i haven't really worked on her too much All right, I forgot. I gotta be getting a thing. And I'll tell you what, you guys are becoming my stronger people. Kind of wish I had things for Zhang Li, but oh well. Once there was a glorious kingdom. Oh, it's got voice acting this time. Okay, I'm just gonna let this play. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the kingdom of darkness. Mm -hmm. The first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the pearl. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. Ugh. She now believed that she was the queen of the kingdom of darkness. But take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. This is the story of your journey, of your tale to be told. Uh-huh. It never 
explains who the heir is. Oh wait, did it restart everything? Oh, it did. That's why. That's why I did that. What else we got? Events. Events. Oh. Okay. Never thought I'd see the day the loop wears a thing. Venti. We might do this real quick. We might do this real quick because I I missed playing Venti. Character description. Venti's elemental skill not only launches opponents, but also allows him to fly in the sky. Wait, what? What? What do you mean fly? What the? What? Uh-huh. Okay. Bow and arrow boy. That's what he is. Oh god. This is gonna be bad. I mean, this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Did his voice change? <laughs> oh god. They're all getting swarmed in there. They probably got. Yeah, he. They changed his voice. He sounds much more childish than before. Who's next? You. Come hither. Let's play. Think you can get away? Come on. Get bent. Exit the stage, please. And he's fun. <laughs> I will admit that. He's fun. He's a fun character to play. I only really used him to fight the Valen, though. That's the only time I've ever played as him. Which is unfortunate. So claim that. Just need to map out like my payments for wishes in the future. Anyways, what is my thing right now? Sister Victoria's vexation. Check plan. Oh yeah, no, we got all this stuff now. I still need to. I still need to do the next adventure quest in order to do Venti's, like, chapter. Actually, there's a lot of things I have to do. Anyways, uh, I can claim a few more. Wait. Okay, so I gotta do dailies in order to get more keys. Got it. Well, I could do another one. I could do both Barbara and Bennett. Or should I do Chong Yun? Because I know nothing about Chong Yun. You know, I'll do both. Um, I'll do both females for now. Uh, no, we're going to wait then. All right. So we got to complete uh, Barbara's quest first before we do that. Got it. Um, let's go to Mondstadt then. Oh, they're all here, huh? You know what? Before we go to Mondstadt, let's take care of some of these dailies real quick. Let's just see what we got here. A little raid. Just fighting evil. Which is literally just fighting guys. Um, where's the fourth one? One, two, three. Don't tell me it's over here. Oh, thank God. Okay. I will start with the furthest. Okay, here we go. First things 
first. Ah, yes. Wait a minute. Get on a ledge. No, get on a ledge. Okay. Here, let me help you. I forgot to switch back to her. Oops. Solidify. Just keep on zapping. Zap, zap, zap. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Zap, 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 zappy. Uh oh. Stop, 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 stop. Honestly, I should just focus on this guy. Because he's just gonna keep healing him. Okay, that take care of him. Don't be such a brute. Got 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 You've been a naughty boy. Surrender and I'll be gentle. No 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 Just please perish, creature of the damned. Yes, pull it out. It did not help you at all. Oh, yeah. I found that fire is very effective against this guy. Specifically because he has a shield. Anyways, uh, let me just go ahead and take care of this guy too. No, don't do that. Just keep on fighting. Oh, I didn't even realize I switched over to Hu Tao. I need my boy. I need my strong boy. The one who can actually fight against this big bad. Big boy. Yes, he's making another shield. Excellent. But would it help him? No, it won't. Now, get off the mountain. Don't do that. And stone. Okay, bang. There we go. Alright. Let me just collect all the items real quickly. I try to do the dailies as quick as I can. And uh, depending on how long the two uh, hangouts are going to be is when the stream might end. So it could be an hour, it could be two hours. Because uh, uh, I will admit, I kind of need to give myself a little bit of a break from streaming. Because uh, with me, I, I was born with like ADHD. So like I can't sit down and do like something for like hours on end. So uh it's also one of those cases where it's like I'll probably get bored of it real quick. So I got to get I got to like space out when uh when I stream so that I don't get like bored of it. Cuz that's what I'm worried about. That was exactly what happened when I tried to do let's plays is that I would get very bored of them very quickly. I also need to heal my people. I forgot to do that. I forgot that that was the reason I went here. Also, the fact that, like, doing Let's Plays takes a lot of commitment <laughs> compared to streaming. Sort of. 
Because if you're on your own, you have to edit those videos on your own. Literally, my last video would have been uh, a Delta Rune video of the finale. And then um, my stupid my stupid self decided not to not to turn up the volume on the game audio because I thought eh, it's fine it'll be fine and then it wasn't <laughs> and then literally as I was reviewing it I was just like well I guess it's time to make my life a little harder and just try to fix it so I literally I tried to find the music to some of the uh, things and the encounters. And then tried to make it seem like I had the game audio working the entire time. When in reality, I did not. Where am I supposed to go? Let's go from this mountain instead. Let our weedy bones less rest for a little bit. Also, let's not have that on our mark right now. Just so I can easily find the daily quests. Just to get them out of the way, you know? But I think this is a good game to like play on St. Patrick's Day. It's nice, soothing, relaxing. Granted, the same could be said for Final Fantasy, kinda. But, you know, I, I still don't have the level capability to do raids. So, that's gonna be a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, Final Fantasy fans. Wait, this isn't... Oh, I was going the wrong way entirely. Strength of the heart. Okay. So where am I to go? Oh. Let's do that. Oh, it's gonna be one of these ones, huh? Alright. Touched one? If so, then I've already I've completed the task. No, it's touched. Alright. So next up is spreading evil. And then we will stop and then we will uh, complete the dailies at least with Soraya's quest. I should probably unfold my leg. Make myself more comfortable. In my very uncomfortable chair. <laughs> I regret buying this chair. <laughs> it's very funny because like I bought this chair and then my brother bought like another gaming chair which has a wider cushion and I don't know if that has anything to do with my chair but whenever I sit in his chair his chair is the most comfiest chair I've ever sat in. Like it's more comfortable than this one. And that says something. And my chair is already, like, falling apart. <laughs> like, the armrest, like, one of the armrests, like, things is, like, starting to fall off. It's starting to peel off, so. I gotta buy a new one at some point, again. I think I got ripped off in terms of chairs. Which is sad. Because I really like these chairs. Lumbar support. Which I need. Crumble. Oh. Okay. Oh ha ha! Ice boy. You will not live to see the end to this. 
I hate these guys specifically. Solidify. This is order. Take the order. No, 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 no. I thought you were dead. Now you're dead. Get in the water. Get in the water. Yes. Get in the water. Time to go for a swim. It's time you took a bath. Get in the water. Soraya. Who's gonna be in the long shoe in? No, no, no. There we go. That's what I want. All right. How is your guys' St. Patrick's Day going, though? Alrighty. I'm gonna get to stop him. I'll leave it to you then. All right. Little raid. Wow, they are alarmingly close to the end, huh? <laughs> wow, you guys are just watching them? I see that watchtower. Why are you not doing anything? Isn't it their job to take care of these people? Oh, well. We'll take care of them. We will do what the Billalith cannot. Hey, boys. Why do the treasure hoarders give me like a vulture vibe from Spider Man Homecoming? Surrendering will be gentle. Order guide you. And stop in your tracks. Solidify. Like they look just they look just like hard workers who've been betrayed by by society, essentially. There we go. Alright. We did it. We got your little package back. Now give me money. <laughs> give me money or give me primo gems. Either way I will take them. How did it go? These are the relics. Mm, it says I thought they've been tailing me and digging all along the path my studies have taken me down. Though they have no technique to speak of, they do have the advantage of numbers. And with those numbers, they've been able to dig up a few things eventually. Thank you so much. If not for you, who knows what might have happened to those cultural relics. She's still gonna... There she is. Achievements. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So that was a thing I could do. All right. To Mondstadt. To deliver both uh, things and then do Barbara's Hangout. Because that's the whole point behind these this stream is to do one or two hangouts, hopefully. Maybe three if we're lucky. Actually, considering the fact that I have to do dailies in order to get keys, maybe only two. So, that's gonna be saddening. Hopefully it's a longish one. Because I would like to not stop at, like, an hour. Ad Astra Abyssos. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Thank you. Take my commissions. There's a flag in my way. Add Astra. Let me also get my characters back. Yeah, we'll take care of that little. We'll take care of that later. That'll pass. Do that, do that. Right. Let's also... 
Oh, no. Eight commissions lead up to a single key. That's why. Okay, so let's go hang out with Barbara. Let's go do you that. And then we'll hang out with Noel, because I unlocked that one. Hopefully. I'm hoping it's one of the cases where I can like choose between the two. Unless it's one of those things where it's like choose choose one person. You only get one. Which I hope is not the case, because that's honestly kind of stupid. Like, if I wanted to hang out with someone, I'd honestly hang out with maybe Zhang Li. Because he's relaxing. Um, it's, well, either Zhang Li or... Who would I hang out here in this game? World. Not Venti, because I feel like he'd try to make me drink. This is where it is, right? Oh. Hi. Hello. I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Uh, what's happened to Barbara? Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier. But I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Uh-huh. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Pavonius. Hi, I'm one of them. I'll go look for her. You? Well, I guess as the honorary knight, you may very well be a good fit for the task. I feel like there's a but in that sentence somewhere. Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the knights. There's a but in this sentence. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. Oh, that's a great place to go to! <laughs> Hey guys, we're gonna go to Wolvendom to go uh, to go pick some herbs. You want to come with? You could start by looking for her there. Okay. There's Wolvendom. Doesn't it just look lovely from over here? Um, we're gonna take the long path. The longish path. We're gonna take the longish path. And we're gonna see where it leads. Well, I like how I said I'd take the longish path, and here I am climbing the mountains to shorten my distance. But then again, as a as a gamer, like that's kind of how we're hardwired, right? Is like if anything's in our way, we'll just climb over it or something. It was the same case with Skyrim with like the jumping glitch. Uh oh. Yeah, we're fine. Every time, every time, without fail, without fail, the dog does it every time. Oh. Oh. You'll never catch me. Get away from me. Okay, so she said she was going to go to Wolvendom. Is it right here-ish? Wait, would she literally just... Barbara? Barbs? Oh, Barb. Barbs. I forgot these were a thing. Didn't know you could just pick them off the ground like that. Bar Barbara? Scan the perimeter. Oh, there she is. What does that mean? <laughs> what what does the hearts mean? Uh, <laughs> did I pick a bad? <laughs> what have I done? I finally found you. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Is something the matter? 
no. You've been gone for some time. We decided to come look for you. Oh, I see. No need to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolfwood berries, that's all. But there's only purple. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of wolfwoods here. And I can't seem to find any. Uh, do you mean that one? <laughs> the one that's right behind you? Hmm. She's not smart, is she? Anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara? Oh. She's Razor? Not either. Oh. Oh, somebody seems to be coming this way. Is that Albert? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Why would you want to hide? Because... Well, just because. Let's go deeper into the forest and wait for them to leave. Yeah, that sound that sounds like a... Uh, mm. I'll admit, she's adorable. I don't want to be that guy, though. Uh, I feel like either way... I feel like either way it's gonna not end greatly because I could go I could say that and she'd be like no please or I could say this and she'll just be like well I don't know let's do that All then, right, then. Well, let's head this way come with Hello. Shh. keep your voice down we mustn't let that person find us here same goes to you Oh, this should be a good spot. Let's wait here for a while. Got it. Why are you trying to avoid being seen? Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but... Go ahead. In Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. And because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across to that. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. Ah, uh, she's getting the stage fright. Understandable. I too get stage fright <laughs> very easily. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or when I go out for personal matters. Oh, I see. <laughs> she's not she's not getting stage fright. She's getting the uh she's getting the I don't want to be famous <laughs> expertise anymore. I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. A nightmare for anyone, <laughs> to be honest. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. Again, I feel like there's a button that question. But mm -hmm. sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Okay. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. That looked like a person just walked by. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tenor's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Great. I'm still confused as to why there's hearts on the top right. Just by yourself. It's simply the feeling of relaxation. Okay, I like Barbara. <laughs> Barbara is like, Barbara is my own heart. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. If you're looking for wolf hooks, there should be plenty oh, nearby. Yes, there are plenty of the normal variety, but I'm looking for red wolf hooks. No matter how oh, right. Look, yeah, I, I did. To find any. I clearly remember that they always grow here. Let's wait for that person to leave and we can look for I some guess more. That's all we can do for now. Although it certainly isn't nice to treat someone that way. But today, I simply wish to keep to myself. Very understandable. Hmm. 
Well, it could be a creep. Could be a concerned friend or just ask her what made her want. I literally know nothing about Barbara. Let's ask her simple questions. Well, my father has always worked at the church. And the church has always looked after me. Uh -huh. I guess it was only natural for me to join the church when I grew up. And besides, my sister works in the Knights of Thelonious. Right, isn't she Jean? No, I can't even begin to compare with her. Not only is she adept with a blade, she's also capable of shouldering all the Knights of Thelonious' matters on her own. This is also another reason why I shouldn't get with this girl. <laughs> Because she's literally the sister to Jean. <laughs> I guess that's just who she is. I've never been able to come close to competing with her. Well, don't do that then. Aside from singing and performing, I don't really have any abilities worth mentioning. Besides, my singing alone could never truly heal the wounds of others. I suppose that's another reason why I decided to join the church. To learn how to truly heal others. Fair. Though I may not be particularly skilled in battle, being able to heal the wounds of others is good in its own right. At least, that's what I think. Yes. Very true. It's very sad that this is the person. <laughs> Does that mean I can come to you when I need healing too? Of course. You are the honorary knight after all. Feel free to find me for healing anytime. Oh. All right then. That person should be long gone by now. I still need to find some of those wolf books. I can't seem to find any of the red variety anywhere. I'll lend you a hand. Oh, your help would be much appreciated. Let's search the nearby area. I'm sure we'll find some in no time. I wonder if that's like the you're fucking up bar. Strange. I'm almost certain I've seen lots of red wolf books growing here before. What is with the dog? All of a sudden. Sunset. Oh, these must be the red wolf book berries that Barbara is looking for. Let's gather some and bring them back to her. Two. So they might be hiding under stuff. Check everywhere, including the bushes. Oh, found one. Perhaps no. That's an egg. Nothing there. Oh, there's a couple. Back to Barbara. I have lost the Barbara. <laughs> there she is. Wow, she, we really were in a good hiding spot. There you go. Oh, were you able to find some red wolf hook berries? Here they are. Have a look. Uh, yep, that should be enough. Yay. But it's still strange. I know for sure that I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. Maybe it's just not the season. I wonder if someone had already gathered them all. For what reason? Well, never mind. Thankfully, the berries you gathered should be just enough. Let's go. Good idea. And I'm assuming we gotta go all the way back to... Where 
about to get stopped by a fan, aren't we? You know, I might as well look the part. It's either we're about to look the part, it's either we're about to get stopped by a fan, or we're going to get attacked by wolves. Or hilly trolls. Probably hilly trolls. <sighs> Glad we finally made it out of here. The Wolvendon Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. Nope. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. That's why I have the sun. That's why I have my window open. Uh, yes. Blinds, I mean. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, you know? Ask for your help again. If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. Wow, that was a big change in lighting. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. Yeah, she's the one who sent me to find you. <laughs> and besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. Mm -hmm. It would be better if I let her know the situation. True. Yeah, sure. Leave it to us. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Leave it to us, Barbara. We'll tell Sister Victoria that you need time. Here we go. I really shouldn't have picked females, huh? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have picked, like, one guy at least. Hey. She's fine. Oh, you're back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> I think Barbados said she's alright. Yeah, she's looking up on uh, old Tunner. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to someone else. Get out. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. No, absolutely not. Come on. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. You could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. You mean the leaves? <laughs> Again. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Oh, inside the church. Oh, inside the church this time. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Barbara is responsible for cleaning a hu a place this huge by herself? Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. <laughs> I've never taken it upon myself to grab a broom and help, but hey, that's just me. To be honest... I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, Armory Knight. Okay. So inside the building, right? Nope, they mean outside the building. Windblade. Just got away from my wind. Can I just technically no? Oh, fiddle faddle. What in the hell? That's like way over there. Okay. That was a gross sound that came out of me, sorry. Wait, what? Oh. Well, that should just about do it for the cleaning. Did Barbara really do this? 
He did nothing. Stop. Sister Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Thank you so much. When did you get back? I just returned a short while ago. I can't thank you enough for how much you've helped me today. Both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. Please stop staring at me like that. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? What kind? <laughs> I, I plan on staying sober, just so you know. Oh, I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Oh no, it's one of those drinks. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> okay, good. She also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Word it is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chilling brew. What is that? Which would you like to drink? You know what? We'll try some of that. Coming right up. But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this at all. I should be fine, I think. Wait, let me think. To make this drink, I'll need some fresh Joyun chilies with sweet flowers. What kind of drink is this? Aren't Joyun chilies, like, spicy? Oh, that's right, she likes spicy things. I should have gone with the tea. <laughs> the key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. We should have gone with the tea. <laughs> I know where to gather fresh Julian chilies, but sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, high quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Just go to the flower shop, I'm sure they got some. Oh. Why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, we can meet up just south of the Whispering Wood. Uh oh. I think it'd be better if we stick together. I think so? Okay then. I don't trust you alone, lady. With the honorary knight by my side, I can gather ingredients without a care in the world. What have I done? <laughs> oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. We should go check in with Sister Victoria first. We could say hmm, we're going out to gather some herbs. She'll probably look at you, like, again? Lady, you were just outside, like, not too long ago. Hey. Oh, Sister Barbara, is something the matter? I'd like to go to the Whispering Woods to pick some herbs. It shouldn't take long. Oh? But didn't you just submit a request for half a day's leave to see a friend? Now you suddenly intend to go herb picking? You could just tell her that I'm that friend, Barbara. I thought you would take a rest today. Still, you may do as you please with your plans. I won't interfere. Oh, what a caring sister. <laughs> but the Whispering Woods are quite a distance away. Perhaps you should request a guard from the Knights of Avonius? I am a knight. With the honorary knight by my side, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Yep, I'll even put my best man on, on the on the guard duty. Thank you for informing me. I've noted down your plans. Please do come back soon. Thank you. Alright, we're good to go. Let's head out. Huzzah! Alright, Zhongli, go. <laughs> my best guard. Let's be real here. He is actually the best guard in existence. Man, that dog just loves to bark. I don't know what's her deal. I don't know what she's, like, seeing. Maybe a spirit's finally gotten into the house again. That's fine there. Wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, for a whole, how, how old this house is. This house is. Man, 
Yeah, my body is rejecting something fierce. I mean, it's either she sees something, or it's like she thinks she sees something, or thinks she hears something. Either way, it's probably nothing. I say, as a ghost might appear behind me. Now, where in the world did she get off to this time? Here we are. The sweet flowers growing here are some of the highest quality. You want us to go in there? I pick them here, but why are there so many monsters around? Well, it's quite simple, Barbara. It's called the Hilly Chill. Let's take care of them first. Then we can look huh? at sweet flowers in the vicinity. Uh oh, Shield Boy. You know what that means, fire. Why, wait a minute. No, absolutely not. You're not doing that to me. No, 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 no. Ow. Order guide you. And goodbye, shield. Yeah, yeah. Stabilize. Don't worry. My powers will make the flowers even more high quality. I say as I'm not Dendro. Which, by the way, I found something out interesting. Uh, because uh, at the end of Chapter 2 of this game, it's... It's entailed that the next guard, that the next god you meet is uh, Ball, the electro, the electro god. I learned recently that uh, it might be the Dendro god, actually. <laughs> god of plants and wisdom. Even though he might not be as wise as I, as we think he is. Also, these are not sweet, sweet flowers. I don't know what. Wow, I just burned them, huh? I guess that takes care of them. I think I slipped the disc. More than a few monsters, but you made it look easy. Stop right there. Looks like you hurt yourself on your own there. Barely a graze, nothing to worry about. Oh, no. Even a graze can turn into a wound of unimaginable evil if you let it. I guess she has a point. Give me just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. Thank you. That should do it. Okay. Let's have a look through these sweet flowers. Hello there. Excuse me, but aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Shit. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. Are you alright? Praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? You look fine! I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. Uh-huh. You look perfectly fine, sir. I was lucky to have escaped, but please... Won't you heal me? What's the leader of the spring? Wait a minute. I could just call him out like right now. <laughs> Cause honestly, he is dressed like a th treasure hoarder. Treasure who now? <coughs> Don't be silly. Would a treasure hoarder get injured and then stop a couple of passers-by begging to be healed? Yes. Uh, don't be r Look here. Aren't these monster injuries? Well then, let's head to Springville and see if we can't find out your identity. How can you be so heartless? How can I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? My guy, you look perfectly fine. <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you. Sister Deaconess, you... Yes, I will heal you. Oh, his wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? And this is when he reveals that he really is a treasure hoarder. <laughs> no problem. See what you can find. I'll take care of him. Okay. I'm going to look for some small ant grass in the area. Please stay with him and make sure no monsters get to him. You. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
look funny. It was either I answer with that one or I answer the it's time to practice your monster hiding skills. Either way, it sounds mean coming from me. Fine, heartless adventurer. Look, man. I'll stay hidden, Sister Deaconess, but please be back soon. I beg of you. I will be back soon. Don't worry. Sorry, Barbara. Either way, my options were not good ones. Okay, Uwe, you stay there. Don't be a dummy. Don't look so serious. I know what you're thinking. I've heard a lot about the criminal methods of the treasure hoarders around Mondstadt. Usually, if I come across a person like this, I'd simply ask them to seek help from somebody at the church. Uh -huh. But this fellow is in serious condition. He needs urgent healing. He After looked all, fine! I've got an honorary knight at my side to protect me, right? Fair. Let's gather the small lamp grass and head back so we can heal him. I mean, granted, she has a point, but the dude looks fine. From my account, what, is his injuries, like, underneath his armor? Why isn't there a hole, then? You look fine. <laughs> You're not injured. You're a lion sack of shoot. Sister Deaconess. You're back. You're not dying. You're fine. You have a bandana right around your... That bandana could have been wrapped around your face. This should do the trick. Hold on a moment. I'm watching you. You adventurers really are jumpy these days. You d hey, don't blame me. Blame the Fatui child. Anyone else, including the treasure hunters. A visit to the church. <laughs> no need. I should be able to recover by myself. Th he sounds like a treasure hoarder. Uh, Sister Deaconess? I have a confession to make. I'm a treasure hoarder. I'm here to kidnap you. Why weren't you suspicious of me? Like the adventurer here. Because <laughs> I am a treasure hoarder. I want you to know that. I really am. Please don't report me. Surely you've heard about the treasure hoarders and their methods. <laughs> yeah, he's admitting. He's admitting it right here and right now. Feigning injury by the roadside, begging for healing to get close to travelers, then striking at the opportune moment. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> I guess he can't be a treasure hoarder if he's literally telling us the plan, huh? Then that's just one of their methods. Weren't you worried that I might have been looking to harm you? my mind and yet why did you still help me <laughs> you could have left me to die well your back blood is in needed healing right and you hadn't done anything wrong you just asked me for help granted it did not help that you came walking up looking like a treasure hoarder whatever your true identity in my eyes you were merely a person in need of healing sister deaconess i have a confession to make the truth is I am a treasure hoarder. Knew it. <laughs> My plan was to feign injury in order to take advantage of the situation. See, I knew it. But I ran into a group of monsters. I barely made it out. Then I realized I actually had to seek help from someone. Anyone. But travelers all kept their distance. None of them believed me. Until you showed up. I can't thank you enough for healing me. I feel strong enough to carry on now. I won't trouble you anymore. I like how literally he was like accusing me of being a very jumpy adventurer when he himself was a treasure order. That is rich. Oh. Well, the best thing would be for you to come back to Mondstadt with us. The church can help with your treatment. You're not fully healed yet. Please, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll be fine. I'll go over to my treasure order buddies and be like, Hey guys, I'm at a... Uh... A healing traveler. Oh, these are for you. I'm afraid I have nothing of value to give, but... I picked these sweet flowers from nearby. Take them. As thanks for healing me. I will remember your kindness. I'm going to have to check what that dog is barking at, because she's been barking for a while. In the future, if you have any trouble with treasure hoarders, just mention my name, Uwe. Uwe? I guarantee they won't dare touch the hem of your jacket. Uh-huh. 
What did you do to earn that respect? I must go. Farewell. <laughs> what a strange character. But I hope his wounds will be okay. At least we got a hold of some sweet flowers. They were running out of time for me to whip you up some chili brew. Great. I forgot that I, <laughs> I forgot that my reward was a spicy drink. Wow. This is a great batch. That's everything we need. It's getting late. Let's get back to Mondstadt. No, it's not. It's like in the middle of the morning. What do you mean it's getting late? I guess to her it is getting late. Honestly, for as long as this is, I guess I can do another one, huh? Hopefully it still counts the Noel one, because I would I would like to like learn about Noel. Like this is a good opportunity to learn about the characters, and that's that's something I actually kind of like. Well, we're back. <sighs> that was pretty tiring. Why did you choose to heal that guy, even though you knew he was suspicious? Healing the wounded is something I must do. I guess that's fair. Is that really the job of a deacon? Like in reality, is that is that truthfully the job of a deacon is to heal? Well, heal. I will say because I've never, I haven't been to church since I was like five, <laughs> so I can't really talk. Besides, I have a vision. Even if you did try anything, I'd have been able to handle it. Lady, you just said that you were not capable of fighting. Not to mention, I had the honorary knight with me. If there'd been any danger. You would definitely have protected me, right? And if I hadn't been there? If I was alone... Hmm... Well, for a vision bearer, I'm more adept at healing. If there were too many enemies, I guess I would have been defeated after a while. Oh... Way to be honest with yourself. However, because I would have been alone, I wouldn't have risked an ambush by stopping to heal him myself. I would have just left to merge with him instead. I guess that's a fair adjustment. I'm good at remembering self-defense tactics like that. That's a self-defense tactic? <laughs> Scenario. Guy's got a knife. He's gonna stick... He's, he's gonna try and, like, get your money. What do you do? <laughs> but it turns out he's got a wound on his side. And you, lit and you literally just ran away from, like, a bank robbery or something. <laughs> Do you just, do you just leave him a bandage and gauze and just be like, all right, goodbye, sir, you're on your own. <laughs> or do you just decide that you're going to help this man? I guess that's what it comes down to. <laughs> After all, as Sister Victoria always says, don't go around healing people in the wild. That's something she says. <laughs> That tells me this has happened before. Then again, what's the point of having a vision if I can't stretch the rules once in a while? <laughs> you know what? You're all right, Barbara. Oh, the chili brew. It shouldn't take long to make. Why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the adventurer's guild? Ah, uh, you mean Bennett's house. Okay, got it. Straight over when it's ready. Okay, got it. I'll have to switch back over to my guy. And I just felt my back pop. Ow. <laughs> wow, this line is like really taking me for a wild ride, huh? By the way, I'll admit, um, has anyone seen the, the recent trailer for, uh, Scott Scott Cawthon's latest creation, Security Breach, the one where everyone's making a bunch of animations of Monty or whatever his name is, the, the Gator dude, because they think it's him. Sorry for the delay. The chili brew's ready. Why don't we drink these here? Fair enough, Barbara. Here. This one is for you. Let me know what you think. Now see, here, I know I just asked a question about 
FNAF, but let me just stop right there to like point out, if this was me in reality, and I took a drink of it, and this was a spicy drink, I'd be like, <sighs> I, I, w I would not like it. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? I was worried you might not like it. You've got an interest ta interesting taste in drinks, so what got you into Chili Brew? I like Chili Brew because... Uh, actually, it's a little embarrassing. Who cares? Let it out. At first, I drank Chili Brew just to keep me awake. Wait, it's coffee? When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. It's coffee? After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. So it's coffee. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. So it, it, it's just coffee. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint. One adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. What a great, what great advice for a deaconess. <laughs> None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. It's literally just, it's fi It's either an energy drink or it, it is literally either the equivalent to five hour energy or it is just coffee. <laughs> that was until I started chewing Julian chilies. What was that? We good? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I had a... I took off some time for Tuesday. And my boss just approved it. <laughs> so that's why I just... That's why I went, yes! <laughs> Alright. And that didn't affect your voice? <laughs> that's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them. But to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink. Something milder in flavor. Oh, is it... Are we talking like Sarah from The Good Hunter? Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. Oh, so she's the one who encouraged the drink. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. It is, so it literally is just a spicy drink. <laughs> you've literally, you've literally given me jalapeno juice. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Sounds like this bottle of chili brew is a reflection of your determination. I don't know what to say. You could say thank you <laughs> for the compliment. My determination is nothing compared to yours. What? I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Ooh, that's right. <laughs> My character hasn't discovered that his that uh that that little sis is not exactly the nicest person in the world anymore. Oh, things you face and those yet to come are more difficult than a few bad songs. Why are you talking like that? Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Thank you, Mifa. Oh. Have I said too much? Sorry. I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. Don't be Jean. It's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Fair enough. Why do people... Do I, can I ask a question? Why, why is it whenever... Because literally... The tone of her voice... Is making me think things that I probably should not be thinking. <laughs> what is it about that? Tomorrow back to chasing our dreams with hard work. Yes. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. Very true. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, that's adorable. I'm saving that. That is adorable. Okay. Alright. You know what? I'm, I want to do another one, please. Yes.
this. Wait a minute, what? Endings reached. There's multiple endings? What? Ah. Uh. Okay. Interesting. So I guess we'll start with Noelle's now. Very interesting. I didn't even realize that there was like multiple endings to these. Five Primo gems for drinking a drink. How worth it. So where's Noelle? She's outside of Mondstadt. Okay. <laughs> Weird place for her, but all right. Um, yeah, I kind of want to learn a little about Noelle now. Because if I could learn that much from Barbara in one sitting, I, I cannot wait to learn what Noelle's about. The One of the first people I ever got. There she is. Literally right there. <laughs> Hi. You good? I will say, you know what? I will say uh it's it'd be very weird to me to find a person dressed like this out in the open. <laughs> Especially outside of the city. I'd be like, "Hi? What what you doing out here? <laughs> you you good? Hi." <laughs> I finally get to meet you, honorary knight. Oh, that's right. We never met her in the story. I'm Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius. The Knights of Favonius have maids? Uh, apologies. I have yet to officially join the Knights. Wait, if you're not a knight, then what are you? As a maid, and in order to be worthy of this honor, I'm currently undergoing the Knights of Favonius chivalric training. So you're Alfred. <laughs> She's the female version of Alfred. Chivalric training? Yes. I haven't passed the selection trials yet, but I've been asking senior knights for advice on how to become a true knight of Favonius. Oh, lady, you've, I've got some bad news for you if you're about to ask me the question that I think you're going to ask me. <laughs> I asked Amber how to make a baron bunny. Oh, and Kai has been keeping me busy with various small tasks. I like her voice. I kind of like her voice, I'm not going to lie. I even asked the Spark Knight to pass on her experiences, although Master Jean grounded us shortly after. The Spark Knight? Who's the Spark Knight? You seem to be working hard. Actually, I have always wanted to receive guidance from the Honorary Knight. You mean the guy who literally became Honorary Knight in like a day and has no idea what he's doing, huh? I see. I was worried that it might be too presumptuous to ask. But I've seen you on the streets of Mondstadt occasionally, but I've always been too busy to disturb you. What have you been doing? You're a maid. <laughs> Are there other jobs to a maid that I don't know about? I just finished a day's cleaning for the knights and was about to start my training when I saw you. Okay. Why does she sound like a mix of Peridot and someone else? I don't know who the other mix is, but she sounds like Peridot and another person. I don't know who. I... Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? I need to double check on who her voice actor actress is, because now it's going to drive me crazy. You know, it's okay not to be... Uh, of course. You know, this is something she wants to do, so of course I'm going to... Get your opinion on something as a senior knight. I count as a senior knight? Since when? <laughs> Since when did I count as a senior knight? Oh, the music's a little too soft, huh? I've been keeping up with my maidly duties and knightly exercises. Mm-hmm. But 
training progress has been a little slow. Maidly duties? Uh, it's really all just cleaning and tidying. Uh-huh. Roughly every other day, I do a major cleanup for the Knights of Pavonius. Are you sure you're cut out for the knight position? <laughs> Noel. Under the beds, the windowsills, nothing can be left out. The smallest corners are the most likely to gather dust. True. That is very true. I am unfortunately sitting in a very dusty room. I have yet to get to every corner. Sadly. Mainly because most of the stuff in my room is heavy as shit. <laughs> like, that nightstand behind me, I'm not lifting that up. And I'm, there's no way I'm lifting it out. There's no way I'm backing it out. Bed, right next to me. Heaviest thing in the room. The desk, surprisingly heavy. <laughs> there's a dresser in my closet, too, that is, like, absolutely heavy. And with this desk in the way, there's no way I'm moving it out of the way. <laughs> so, my room is dusty as shit. <laughs> I need to take care of that at some point. I'm kind of just looking up at my shelf right now. Right by my shelves right now. Well, my only shelf, really. I really do need to, like, dust this room eventually. I also need to check the fan. It's a living. There are also all kinds of smaller domestic tasks, like preparing Captain Kaya's eye patch and helping Miss Lisa keep her bookshelves in order. It sounds like they're just making you do things that they don't want to do. I'm actually incredibly busy every day. It's just that I always feel like something's missing. And what is that something? Can you describe this something to me? Who messaged me? On Discord? Who dares? Drink menu? Well, do it. Sorry, guys. I gotta see what's going on here. This note is unavailable. Thank you, Miguel, for wasting my time. <laughs> I mean that with respect. I'm actually incredibly busy every day. Uh, what you lack is rest. Rest? But... Oh, I've still got so much work to do. For the pe You know what? For the people who live in a city of freedom, they don't really give themselves much time to rest, do they? Oh, that's lightning. Besides, I'm still not skilled enough. Any free time that I get should be spent training. I guess that's a fair point. If I want to become a real knight soon... I have to continue to put in more effort than the others. A true knight also needs sufficient rest. But time is precious. If I rest, I'll feel guilty. If you're too busy, you won't have time to reflect on your progress and goals. Oh, I really hadn't thought about that. Resting for the sake of training. Oh, so that's why Miss Lisa always has afternoon tea in the library. I get it now. I'm a, in Lisa's case, I'm afraid it's probably just resting for the sake of resting. Huh? Oh, now that you mention it. Never mind. Speaking of tea, let's have some. Oh. Oh, okay. Come on, let's get out of this ring. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, no need. I should take a break. Oh, okay then. In that case. Let's head to Good Hunter and have a look. Damn it. I gotta stop doing that. I always miss important stuff. Into the keep! Quick! Let me in! It's pouring out here! Please! the good hunter. Hello. What the hell? Hi. B? What happened? Is there something I can help you with? Quinn, he's ignoring me again. Oh, it's this lady. 
It's it's little it's little miss give me a discount. But take your time, no rush. I'm here to help. No, don't help her. I noticed Quinn was in a bad mood, so I wanted to call over for a chat. You're probably the last person he wants to talk to. And a date, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I regret everything I've said. I regret everything I just said. Oh, a d date? Oh. So it's that kind of a problem? Yes. I've been over to him several times today already. I'm gonna guess he said no, no, absolutely not. Hell no, get away from me. But no matter how hard I try to make conversation, he just focuses on a stall and ignores me completely. God, that must be why she asks for a discount every single time. It's the only reason she'll ever get to talk to him. Noelle, everyone in Mondstadt thinks you're really cute. Is that what people think of her? I mean, I will admit she has an adorable aspect to her, but even then, you know, she looks like she's like... Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm not finishing that sentence. You must be really popular, right? Can you help me out? Jesus, lady. You're gonna be that person? Uh, of, of course. It's the maid's responsibility to help the residents of Mondstadt. Don't help her with this! She's using her popularity to her advantage! It's just... I... I don't have any experience in this area. Even Noelle can't help me. Well, yeah! Please, don't worry, I... Oh, we also have the honorary knight here. Don't pull me into this! Honorary knight, can you help me? <sighs> I'll certainly do my best! Thank you. Let's analyze the situation first. B said that Quinn always seems busy and ignores everything she says. Except when she mentions discounts, because that seems to be the only way that she can get to talk to him. That she's often looking for small talk with Quinn. Uh, well, that just sounds bad. That's a possibility. In other words, we just need to make Quinn realize that this time is different. For example, by sending him a little gift. Even Quinn would notice the difference a gift would bring. I guess that's true, huh? I myself would give a gift to every... <laughs> to every girl that I've ever had a crush on. <laughs> Not in a creep way. I want to point that out. Not in a creepy way. I just didn't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> and I still don't. <laughs> at least to, at least to like... To like... Put it out there that I like them. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so every time, like, I remember in, uh, I think it was seventh grade, there was this girl that I, that I was interested in, I guess. It didn't work out, obviously. Like, it, it, like, it never even happened, <laughs> to be clear. But, um... There was a, I I I had like nothing to give her, and I didn't know how to talk to girls in seventh grade. So just imagine me, Asperger syndrome boy, very antisocial, <laughs> has no idea how to talk to people. Uh, what's the one gift I can give him? Uh, you know what? Paper clip sounds good. <laughs> I literally gave her like one of those paper clamps. It was a it was a special one. It was like a, it had a little uh, symbol in the middle of it. Uh, I don't know if she still has it. <laughs> I think she might have thrown it away, <laughs> and I don't blame her, honestly. <laughs> if she did that, cause uh, that's a weird gift to get from a guy, <laughs> especially in school. <laughs> 
Uh, definitely not a paper clamp. <laughs> Yeah, we really should be careful with how we choose this. Everyone has their preferences, so it's important to choose the right gift if you want to get through to them. Hey B, what can you tell us about Quinn? If it were me, I'd want roses. And uh as for you, honorary knight. Hmm. Let's see if you can figure me out, Velma. I bet you like handmade things. I mean, she's not wrong. Literally my little microphone thing's handmade. This little green and purple thingy. It was given to me by one of the said girls <laughs> that I tried to give something to. But let's think about what Quinn might like. Oh, yes. I I just wanted to try thinking from a different perspective. Hi, Margaret. Hey, can you come help us, Margaret? We, we need some help. Hmm. Quinn, what kind of gift would he like? Hey, B, tell us. If I remember correctly, isn't Quinn one of the four drunkards of Mondstadt? Please tell me you're not suggesting we give him, like, anything alcoholic. <laughs> that is the worst gift to give to someone. Perhaps something wine-related would do. But what? Dandelion wine? Hmm. Simply thinking about it isn't really helping. By the way, that's an actual drink in this game, dandelion wine. Let's go to Marjorie's store and see what's available. Wait, did you say Marjorie when it says Marjorie? They, they misspelled her name. Welcome to With Wincombe Flory. Well, if it isn't Noelle and the Honorary Knight. Hello, Nora from Ruby. How are you doing? And what wind brought the two of you together? I barely ever see Noelle in someone else's company. Oh, I see. You're going to be one of those assumers, huh? Well, when Noelle's working, she practically always takes care of things by herself. Uh-huh. Well, today's different. <laughs> and once she's finished with A, it's straight off to take care of B. Seems she hardly has time to catch her breath. Well, things are different today. Say, Noelle, you're not a child anymore, you know? If you don't take time out for yourself, you may come to regret it in the future. Who are you, her older sister? I, um, decided to take a break today. But something came up. Aww. Oh? So it's a day off with the honorary knight? Wonderful! That's something to celebrate. Stop! <laughs> you must be here to pick out a gift for the honorary knight. Choose anything you like. We have a lot that might tickle your fancy. Well, I could be that guy. I want to wait until... Because if this is one of those things, I want to have it with... I want to try and do it first with Rosaria, the character who's not out yet. But Noelle is adorable. <laughs> we'll just be we'll be honest for now, and then we'll like choose a different day. Aww, so shy. No use denying it, though. So you're just gonna try and make me do it no matter what? Stop teasing. Me and the honorary knight don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> Not yet. Seems you have a knack for this kind of thing, Mar Marjorie. I guess. After all, Noelle here is the type that needs a push every now and again. Why did I pick this? <laughs> but looks like she's still in the dark when it comes to these things. I, I just feel I shouldn't let such things distract me from my chivalric training. Poor girl. I feel bad for her. Yes. There are too many important things to take care of. Okay, okay, no more teasing. So, what is the reason for this visit? It's like this. So, you're choosing a gift for B to give to Quinn. Yep. What would what would have happened? Now I want to know what would have happened if I said I'm here for a gift to give a gift to Noel. In that case, I have a couple of fun new things in stock: a frosting bottle and a squirrel wood carving. The frosting bottle is very useful to keep alcohol cold and fresh for a long time. That sounds like something he'd want. As for the squirrel wood carving, well, it's a nice ornament and it would look great at Quinn's stall. No, it wouldn't. So, bottle or ornament? Which will it be? Uh, bottle. 
A questioning battle. A fitting gift for one of the four drunkards. They remembered what I said. Aww. Oh. A questioning bottle it is? Alrighty, let me wrap it up for you. Alright. Okay, now that the gift is wrapped, let's hurry back and give it to B. Good idea. Here you go. Hmm? Give the questioning bottle to Quinn? Yep. It does look like something that he'd be interested in. Wait, wait. Maybe I can use the gift as bait. I could say that if he wants to get the gift, then I'll have to come on a date with me first. Or, you know, you could just say that, hey, I'm here with a gift. Would you like to go out with me? Thank you both so much. With this gift, there's no way Quinn will be able to refuse me. You're very welcome. Please don't, please don't do what you just said. Uh, No. Well, as long as it helps. Oh no! She broke it. What's wrong? The gift? Is there something wrong with the gift? No, no. It's not the gift. <laughs> it's everything to do with the gift, unfortunately. I've been so focused on convincing Quinn, I hadn't even thought about where our date's gonna be. No. Really? I've never gotten to that stage. Noel, could you help me? D the cliff! <laughs> Star Snatch Cliff, go there! A date should be properly planned, so I'll wait. No need to rush. Just uh, leave it to me. Oh, she really is lately. A date? Hmm. We'll need a place with pleasant scenery and a quiet atmosphere. Let's look around. If we see anywhere good, let's take a picture. And let B have the final say. Oh, there's a beautiful and touching tale about Cape Earth. Maybe that would be a good spot. Where's Cape Earth? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is where... He would go, unless there's monsters here, in which case we can't take him here. Oh, that's one of those areas. Alright, well, you guys have fun over there. Uh, I'm just here to, you know, make sure that I have a, I have a date to plan. You guys can live. I'm planning a date for a very lazy person. Now, let's switch back to the guy. Go forward. Oh, you can see Falcon Coast from here. Such a beautiful view. Let's find a good angle and take a picture. Use the take a photo. Huh? Uh, what is with this dog? She likes to bark all the time. Let's head to Star Snatch Cliff next. Yeah, that's that place of it. Another beautiful location. And so elevated. This place is super famous for its nightscape. Really? I should take a picture there sometime to put up on my uh, wallpaper stuff. At some point. I really gotta go check that dog at some point, huh? <laughs> She's been barking for like forever. It feels like. Time like the present. Time to climb. You, you really would think she would stop barking at some point, though. Mm. Well, this causes a problem. Oh. Yep. No. No. Come on. Stop. I, now she's just she's getting very agitated for some reason, and I don't know why. I wonder what has her so, like, barky all of a sudden. They probably put her in the cage. Knowing, knowing my brother and sister. It's unfortunate, but, you know, when you're a dog that constantly wants attention, very small dog like Macy, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, unfortunately. <laughs> Plus, she's been very, she's been very beggy with food lately. Suspiciously enough. Okay. Almost there. Just gotta keep moving. 
But yeah, no, there's all there's always two people up here for for dating. Now the only problem is, is that they may have to beat those two people here. So, like, right here? Okay. Oh. oh, wait, take a picture from... Uh... Wait, from what time to what? 19 to 24. Oh, yep, see? I knew it. Now, one more option should do it. Oh, let's go to Windrise. I've never even heard of Windrise. My God. Oh yeah, the tree. Wind rises the tree. The big old tree. The very big tree that's very, very big and beautiful. Right here. Monstat's hero. Look over there! The wind rise tree! Symbol of the great hero Vanessa! You're pretty excited, huh, Noel? Sorry. Where were we? Nice! The scenery here is pretty good, too! Small rivers and soft shadows under the trees. Let's get a picture. Yes. Excellent idea. Of the tree itself. If you guys hear vibrations, I'm sorry. Let's get back to bees. I'm just not willing to pull my phone off of the charger and like throw it under the bed. Also, it is not my fault that my family likes to talk. Do we want jalapenos for dinner? What? Okay, so I guess jalapenos is a thing. Hello! I come back with three locations. Oh, you guys are back. What romantic locations did you find? Wait, aren't there people? I don't want other people to stop at another. How, how about Windrise? May your life be as free as a dandelion. Also true. Windrise? Hmm, that's a great location. But isn't it a bit cliche? Huh? Cl cliche? Oh. Well, old folks are always going on about something symbolic about that place. Besides, we've been there so many times when we were young. It just feels like there's nothing special or new about it. That's exactly why you should go there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I'm going with Capo. Thanks so much. I'm off to find Quinn. <sighs> Quinn. I wonder what kind of elf he'll make to me. Uh. Aww. Is Windrise no longer popular? I feel bad for her now. Said that it was the most popular place in Mondstadt. When was the book written? Uh, not sure. I found it while cleaning a corner of the library. Ooh. It was the story of Windrise and Lady Vanessa. Oh, yep. I thought folks in Mondstadt would still like to go there. Would you like to go there with me? Huh? 
You wanna go to Windrex? Think of it as our last break of the day. Yeah. Okay. Follow me. We gotta make her happy. We have to make her happy at least once in this story. I'll be damned if I don't make this. If they, I will be damned if I do not make this girl happy. <laughs> I don't want to see a sad Noel. A sad Noel is depressing. Hello, friend. Oh, the air here really refreshes you in an instant. Wow, I thought that was just Venti that felt that. Forget about training and work. Just breathe and feel the wind. <sighs> Nothing else. You know you can come here whenever you like, yeah. That's true. But training and work are still things I need to focus on. Man, you and all the other knights are just work, 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 work. If I didn't take them seriously, I wouldn't be a reliable maid. So this is the responsibility that you put on yourself? This way. Lady Vanessa and Master Jean... The responsibilities they carry, that they carry, those are the heaviest. That is true. Jean's literally got the weight of all of Mondstadt on her shoulders. I know, I have a lot to live up to. That's why I want to become a real Knight of Gavonius. To help more people. You already possess the greatest qualities of a knight. Really? Thank you. If you weren't here today, I wouldn't have been able to help B. I'm sure. It's just a small token of appreciation, but I hope you'll accept it. No problem. Roses are my favorite flower. This is a paper one that I folded by hand. Do you know the meaning of a rose? Of course. In Mondstadt, roses represent the saying, As wine bottles are corked, so too my lips are sealed. Is that bad? I have seen and learned a lot during our time together. It will become a wonderful memory. One that I will savor again and again. Aww. I want it to remain in my heart and become a secret between the two of us. Is... What have I done? <sighs> Wait. Do you mean that roses have some meaning that I don't know about? One minute. Give me just a minute, guys. In ancient mythology, roses symbolized eternal love in stories of how gods interacted with each other and human beings. Pagans use roses as, a, as decorations to represent their hearts. Muslims view roses as symbols of the human soul, so smelling the scent of roses reminds them of their spirituality. She just said she loved me without actually trying to say it. <laughs> Need to go back to the library and find out. Please don't. <laughs> Still, whatever a rose means, I hope that this one can stay by your side in all your future adventures. Let's hope so. Before I'm able to fight alongside you, honorary knight. You might find yourself there quicker than you think. This is just too cute. This game, it, 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 tear, it tears a hole in my heart. <laughs> And now I gotta wait until I can, like, do these other two. Obtain one hangout memory. So literally I could do them again, or I could just, like, wait until I can do these two. I might do the latter, to be honest. Uh, let's see. I, I guess I should do, like, one last thing before I go, huh? Huh. 
Those are so cute, though. I like those. I like those stories. They bring they bring a new uh, a new light to my heart. I like it. I hope they continue it. I really hope they do because I would love I would love to keep on doing this and like get other memories with the other characters like Zhang Li, Venti maybe. Big maybe on Venti. <laughs> Sister Rosaria for sure because I I want to know more about Sister Rosaria. Like she is like the female Lombax to me. I think he really wants an answer unfortunately for my father i am streaming right now yeah hello friend join the adventurers guild Yo. Uh, are you an adventurer are you here to accept commissions uh please wait a moment let me see what i have here speed glider outdoor survival guide free climbing instructor wanted that doesn't sound like a, the adventurers guild I know, and Lance says so too. But all the adventures I re I've read about in books were something like this. If I don't give out these commissions, what should I give out then? Something like beat up monsters, perhaps? It, isn't that dangerous? I mean, there are a lot of them around Leisha, and there are they are a threat to passersby, but normal people don't stand a chance against them. They might even get hurt. Well, then leave it to me. Adventurers are anything but ordinary. Is that so? Well, then, I'll let you handle it. I'll discuss your payment with Lance later. Fair enough. Uh, we'll go here. This will be the last thing I do for today. After all, two hours. Let's just see how tough these guys are. Those are very sweet stories, though. I love them. I will have to think about uh, doing other games, too, because I don't want to... I, I know I keep going back to games that I know some stuff about, but I want to keep doing games that I'm, like, brand new to. Because that's... T to me, that brings a certain feeling into me. Order guide you. Kabang. Yeah. Solidify. Yes. You will never gain back your rock shield. Ow, ow, ow. Honestly, if I had to choose between two characters to hang out with, or no, three, it would be Zhang Li, Hu Tao, or Sister Rosaria. In reality. Like, if I was gonna play, if I was gonna do that, I would hang out with those three. Zhang Li, because he's like a walking encyclopedia that I could literally learn from. Hu Tao, because she's just adorable. And is quite frankly something that I want to learn more about. Sister Rosaria, because it's Sister Rosaria. Stabilize. Oops. Where did the other guy go? Oh, there he is. Okay, no. You're stopping right there. Solidify. Stabilize. Just keep fighting. Order guide you. Keep fighting. Surrender and be with the wind. Stabilize. 
Shocky, 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 shocky. clear the obstacles too. Burn in the fires of eternity. Alright. Time to go back to TNTN. Always when I'm just trying to swallow too, which is really sad. Eh? You're back already? If you complete the commissions, done and done. That's really impressive. I went back to the guild to reorganize our commissions based on the one I gave you. There was a whole mountain of commissions related to mo defeating monsters, so adventurers are supposed to do this sort of thing all the time. But other than monsters, there have been reports that say treasure hoarders have been seen along the roads. Is this really something the Adventurers Guild should do? It feels like it falls under the job scope of the Millilith. If the money's good, adventurers really are impressive. It seems like you could do almost anything. Well then, I, prepare, I will prepare the adequate quick compensation for you. So please, take this commission too. Wait, another one already? We haven't gotten our... There will be further compensation. I've already discussed it, this with Land. So as long as you complete the next commission, you'll receive further payment. Well, that sounds more like it. I'll be counting on you then. Well, that's two commissions down. The secret method Land taught me to get adventurers to commission, take commissions gladly really works. Alright. Time to defeat some treasure hoarders. Sure, all the way back there. First things first, I should probably heal. Because there's their treasure hoarders, so that means it's going to be a little difficult. Yep. Them's treasure hoarders, all right. Let's take care of this guy first. I'm not letting you get a hit in. Oh shit, there's two of you. Oh, he just collapsed. to join him death to you ah yes of course there's more there's always more you've created a hell hole or just him alone Gather. 
Wow, he's really doing a good job. All I have to do is just pin you to this wall. Alright, your turn. Meteor. Death. Oh, was he not dead? I love the ragdoll physics. Time to talk to T and D and again. Uh, and then, yep, that'll be the end of the stream. Not bad. Really not bad for a stream, to be honest. Sorry for starting early today, by the way. Uh, I literally could not wait. I woke up at like 8. <laughs> so I had a lot of energy to spend. Boing. Alright, here we go. TNT. Have you finished the commissions? You bet I have. Wow, so this is the strength of an adventurer. Well, um, if you don't mind, could you answer some of my questions about adventures and commissions? Other than defeating monsters, what other commissions do, commissions do adventurers take? Whoa, doesn't that just mean that you adventurers do everything? I never knew. Thank you. I'll make a note of it for sure. And, ah, yes, right. This is your repayment. Please take it. It's generous as can be, you know. Next time you're here to take commissions from me, I'll make sure to give you the best ones. Ooh, that is really good, actually. All right. That's going to be it for me today, folks. Aside from all the awkwardness of both of those stories, I actually had a lot of fun. That was really fun to do. I had a lot of fun to hang out with Barbara and Noel. I hope to hang out with a lot more characters. Because that is a good feature in this video game. In this one, at least. I cannot speak for other ones. Because <laughs> it gives you a chance to learn more about the character. Which I love. I, I love learning more about characters. Anywho, uh, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, leave a follow if you want to, like keep up with me i will try to stream next week but i cannot make any promises as um i do have some days not available to me anymore i am literally working four days in a row well not in a, no not in a row i'm working three days in a row and then another day on saturday next week so i i won't be as free as before uh but anywho, uh, you guys just have a great day. And remember, a rose is a symbol of love. So please be careful on who you give that rose to. <laughs> please, I'm begging you. All right. Farewell, everyone. <laughs>